Welcome, everyone, to the Real Hoovians cast. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212 and I'm with Connor Farley. What's up, Connor? Hello. What's up, Gloria? Hello. What's up, Vaughn? What's up? What's up, Philip Archer? Hello. Okay, I, I just want to make a quick announcement, a common sense announcement. Um, did someone's call me that? Uh, and people, I probably don't need to make this announcement but I'm gonna make the announcement anyway. We have a lot of members, okay? And we're not all here at the same time, okay? When we are in here, we have a good time, mm -hmm. all right? I don't know what anybody does in their personal life, in their spare time, okay? So whatever anybody does, say we have 50 members, okay? If five members or three members or one member goes and decides to, like, battle people on the Internet, okay, that is not a reflection of the real Whovians cast at all, and it's just that person, okay? So it's mm -hmm. nobody from – nobody saying to attack anybody, yeah. whatever. I just have to say this because – People do their own thing, and then next thing you know, we have some bull crap. Oh, wow, the real Wings cast went after No, no, no. That person went after you. Nothing to do with the real Wings cast, everything show, whatever. Okay? People like to talk and tweet and this and new gots and tumble and shit and whatever and Google Plus and whatever. People like to do like things it. on social media. I have no control over people. I'm not people's no, bosses. It's, it's yeah. like at the beginning of the of different shows on different networks. They say the network doesn't agree with the views and stuff the same right. mm -hmm. when someone does something wrong we don't we do not agree with the views yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> so <laughs> that's the whole thing um not sure what the hell happened today or yesterday but that we had nothing to do with it today. shame on the person this member has doing stuff all right anyway bad apple doesn't spoil the butt <laughs> right or five mm -hmm. bad apples so whatever about a bad apples there is but anyway let's get down to business Doctor Who business. Mm. So now I, I think that first we're going to get Gloria's trailer reaction out of the way so I can use that nice thumbnail. So let's go, Gloria. <laughs> awesome. I love every moment she's on screen. She's so freaking awesome. Every little bit we get, we get to see of her makes me more excited. I can't wait. I am so excited. I can't wait. 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 <laughs> And then the, and the companions look awesome and cool, and I love the diversity of having the, the one uh, color person. And See, the funny them. thing is you and I were not happy campers. When yeah, I know. Thing. I know. But I said the F word a lot, and you cried. <laughs> and it was crazy. <laughs> you, you were bawling and shit. I was taking canine, and I fucking like baseball and shit. And I took that shit. I chucked that shit across the room. That was a lot of Kyle Marshall. There was a lot. There was a lot of shit going on that day. <laughs> Our first reactions weren't very good, but yeah, after first seventeenth and one hundred five reactions. Actually, yeah, yeah. It took but a couple after... hundred real movies cast for me to like stop being a little more mellow about it. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it was something. A lot. A big thing. It was something. Uh... Big thing. <laughs> you know, Bob, though, because it was like fucking hundreds of cans. Yeah. Before I fucking started even. I see the lights or some shit. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Jesus. I know. It's so it's fucking like, hysterical. It's just like it was so early in the morning when this happened. And the yeah, announcement but, happened. It was just really. We were all tired. Yeah. Was it in the morning or was it in the afternoon? Yeah. No, it was in the morning. Was it? Yeah. Cause remember, we got I don't even fucking that, remember. Yeah, we got up morning. for that reason, I think. Yeah. Oh, I don't. Even, I don't. I don't blame it on morning or anything. I was just fucking pissed. <laughs> I don't fucking care what. But well, we found out. <laughs> we found out like. Um, Hayden was in here and he's like, and we're like. Ah! A moment before. It was it was being yeah. said yeah. by other was, people and we were like, wait, what? Was and it, it was, we saw it and we're like, oh no, it's good. Yeah, because they were saying it on Twitter that it was yeah. her already. You like, talk about Nicolas Cage losing his shit, I lost my shit in that cast. <laughs> I did. I was pissed. But anyway, now so many months later 
<laughs> 10 months later, later a long time ago right yeah. now out. now it's a long time so connor yes we have some looks legit reviews now i have to say more reviews have come out and um it's gonna surprise you because three words have been used recently that has certainly got me very excited dark yeah. dark Wait, wait. Dark, right, dark, dour, dark. and macabre. Oh, she's gonna be one of those. <laughs> the the yeah. episode is dark, dour, and macabre. What episode is that? Episode one. That's the premiere one. Oh, that's oh. the feeling of that episode. Um, oh, there is five deaths in it. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. man, they're going, they're just like, let's right go, out. let's right go, out. Right out of the, let's, let's kill some right people. Out of the gate, man. What wasn't some people dying in class? No, <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, five. and five. Okay, no, that's but Philip, was it, was it five deaths and references to knife crime? Oh, what. Um, Wait a minute! Is that a joke when I kept saying that somebody's going to stab the doctor and they're regenerating? No, no, right. no, 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 no. no. It's, right. it's to do with the it's to do with the with the how Sheffield is as a as a town. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah that's so it's dark. Yeah, it's, it's da, what is da, dire? Dire. Oh, dire. 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 I hate that one. I hate that one. I don't even know what it means. But what the fuck does that mean? It, it's it's, it's, um, God, what's the poop? I know the word. It's, it's yeah, hard is to it, is it, does it mean downbeat? It's, it's like somber, it isn't it? Is it similar oh, to somber? Yeah, it's today like, on the oh, okay. Yes, yeah, like, we're oh, learning the word. Of, it's kind of sad. <laughs> it's, it's like it's gloomy. Somber. Yeah, gloomy. Yeah. It, it, doom yeah. and gloom? Yeah, it's like doom and gloom. Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry, doctor, but your TARDIS is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's like it's like That's all right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, to, let's go like broad church. Let's kill some people. Let's figure out who. Yeah, that's there. that's exactly. It's grounded, realistic, gritty yeah. Doctor Who. Hmm. Not a kids show anymore, people. What What's the, the third word? word? Uh, macabre. Macabre. So the death of Grizzly. Mm, yeah. Oh boy, this is gonna be so stop. Let's get let's get down let's get down to the criminal activity of these crimes. Let's oh, so Connor, am I gonna like this or what? Well, do you normally like dark macabre stuff? I can. Well, I have a sit with dark and macabre, so yeah. Okay, the reviews you said about how it feels, but what are the views? Are they positive? Or yeah, negative? mostly positive. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but there are some that are not. There are, there are oh, some. There was, yeah. yeah, but the, let's get to the positive first. In fact, the in fact, the not the negative ones are not all negative. Oh, they're, they're, posi they're positive with a little bit of an emphasis more on the negative. All right. So what? What? Explain to me. Look, could you start reading the reviews or no? We're not allowed. Uh, I can read it. Uh, uh, there's like twenty of them. So we can so what? We got time. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Um, right. I don't know. Um. I'm but, sorry, God. I didn't mean to fucking stuff your ass. <laughs> I'm not prepared. I know, I know. It's my fault. I'm a jerk. It's finding them all that's the um, problem. Putting them on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. I, I know where. Cause, um, it, I think they're all compiled on BBC. While you're doing that, Gloria's going to tell us how fantastic she thought the trailer was. Okay. Yep. So, <laughs> Again? Um, yeah, like, yeah. No, but like more. There's that Fancy one works, one man. shot where she kind of turns like right at the end of one of the the, the latest one, where one of the the TV spots. I mean, okay, um, one of the TV spots. Uh, just that shot <laughs> is just so like ah, <laughs> and it's then like, when they're walking, uh, you see them from above, and it's like the camera's like <laughs> from above, and then you're looking at the her and the companions walking like down the, the street. What about like she's in charge? That was a cool scene. That was. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that scene. Oh. You don't like that? Really? Why? No, because it makes it look like they're calling the shots and not her. 
No, it doesn't. The only the only problem I had with that whole trailer was the music choice. I miss Murphy Gold's music. Glorious, glorious. That, that music could have went away. I mean, God it's, it's, again. That movie is just really no, no. We not, that's what will happen <laughs> to make it glow. <laughs> no, they kind like of need more laughter. They kind of removed that in later ones where you see. Sort of, I yeah. saw the the what was it, the BBC America version. Yeah, yeah. They took that shit out. Oh, yeah, all that music went out. That music yeah. Not even. Yeah, that was out. That was gone. Yeah. But uh, not to cut Gloria off. Um, there is the- some interesting development that is going to be on at one forty-five over here. Really? PM. Yes. Yeah. In yeah. the middle of the freaking day. Right. Which makes it 6.45 for At us. a time yeah. when you probably are so trained that it will start at 2. Yeah. That you're going to the bathroom at 1.45. Yeah. Because that's what we do. Like, we know it's like 10 minutes, right? Yeah. Walk out, Rick's coming out. about to, They're going to start rehashing all the time to go to the bathroom. Get that shit done. All right. Yeah, I've got, I've got that's going to be a weird. Okay. 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 So this is the big moment of truth. Um, Jodie Whittaker's first episode of Doctor has received broadly positive reviews from critics. Her performance, those of her co-stars and the production values of The Woman Who Fell to Earth came in particular praise. Um, but some critics felt that there was still room for improvement. In his oh. fourth star review for The Sun, Rod McPhee said Whittaker may be the, fresher breath air, the breath of fresh air that is needed to revive a flagging franchise. She doesn't Ooh. always strike the right balance between quirky geek and masterful Time Lord, but and at times can come across as irritatingly childlike. But the highest praise, but the highest praise is that you quickly forget you're watching a female Doctor, and just accept you are watching the Doctor. Right. Okay. That's right. A- Writing for the Eye Paper, Stephen Kelly complimented the show's improved production values. Never before has Doctor Who looked so crisp and cinematic. Now the CGI is so convincing and expensive. And as any fan that has ever tried to convert a skeptic knows, Doctor Who's relatively low budget can often prove a barrier, but not anymore. This feels like the real deal. However, some critics struck a more dissenting note. As an, as a, an episode of Doctor Who, the woman who fell to earth isn't perfect. A few jokes and lines of dialogue fall a bit flat. Oh. And on the whole, it's definitely a lot a less witty and quotable version of Who than we might have seen during the years of former show on Stephen Moffat. Does the first episode get everything right all the time? No, said Digital Spies Morgan Jeffrey. But it scores when it, where it really counts, showing more than enough wit and flair to convince us that we're entering into a new era that'll be every bit as bold and yes, brilliant as we'd hoped. The Telegraph's Ben Lawrence said Chibnall has cooled things down with some much-needed accessibility, but still something is missing. There is also a distinct lack of interest in the show's heritage. Although Whitaker's performance captured the essence of previous incarnations of her character, the overall effect of the show seems uh, sometimes felt like a trip too far from the familiar. Uh, Carol Midgley awarded the episode four stars in her review for, from the Times. The best compliment I can pay with pay Whitaker after her first episode, her casting doesn't feel rem- remotely radical. It feels normal. After 10 minutes, you forget her sex was ever an issue. Whitaker brings energy, fizz in, modern... modern oh, fuck. Cha! Um, n- that's not even a word. Right. Modern. <laughs> I'm, I'm modern to the role with while looking baby face compared to her predecessor, Peter Capaldi, whom she describes in the show as a white haired Scotsman. Oh, come <laughs> on, man. Martin B. Well, we heard that though in the in the in the uh um, Yeah, that's in the clip. The leaked clip. She saw uh, that was just a white haired Scotsman. That I mean that was like that's what she was. I mean she was <laughs> Okay. Martin Bealham in The Guardian said the sheer number of new characters alongside guest star Sharon D. Clarke necessarily means that the alien menace is more a low-key device to bring the characters together and introduce them to us than a world-ending threat. That's not to say that the creature's appearances won't give children nightmares. Empire said the woman who fell to earth looks beautiful in the show's new widescreen format. Indeed, everything Jodie Whittaker and new showrunner Chris Chibnall have been promising. 
us about the ramped up cinematic style of the new series turns out to be true. These new lenses really make a difference in the, giving the show a more textured epic feel matched by new composer Sega Nakinola's atmospheric score. Now, I've got to say one thing about this argument before we go on, about this uh, mm. article. Yeah. It's, they're focused too much there, I think, on the, the negatives. There has been a lot more positives than that. That doesn't sound like it's too positive. It's been a lot more positive than that. Right. Okay. I don't know. The, I don't know why the BBC have written it like that because they should really be focusing on how positive it. It, it has got a very positive um, vibe to it. Reception. Yeah. yeah. Right. They were getting very close. I mean. Yeah, but uh, as I said, dark. Um, one one of the reviews said that it's too dark and dour. Too dark. Oh, they they criticize it as too dark and yeah. dour. Yeah, which is bizarre yeah. because usually people like it dark. Right. Dark. Yeah. Usually, it's though. Crazy. Okay. Because there's a lot. Like the uplifted one. <laughs> because because in, in drama, the way that drama works, if it's dark you're more likely to attract an audience than if it's too light. But it's also sci-fi too, so it can't be too yeah. dark because then it turns like horror type of thing. Right? Well, they, will, they will balance it out with her happy-go-luckiness doctor in, in, which, in that kind of dark show. Is she going to be that type of doctor or is she going to be a manipulative... She's going to she's, she's gonna be bouncy, fizzy, um, yeah. positive... Chirpy? Yeah, chirpy. Yeah. Yeah. You know I mean? chirpy? Yeah. 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 Hello, Susie Q. Hello. Nice you to excited? see everybody. You excited about Doctor Who? No, I'm more excited about something that comes out next week. Right, well, and we're, I we're, can't talk about that on this show because that's right. Because it's Doctor Who only. Damn it! We got rules here. <laughs> you can see? get the out it. No, I'm just kidding. What? See, and I and I didn't say what it was either. Okay. That's good. All right. Well, if you want to stay in here, you can stay. If not... Oh, well, I was just going to stay for a couple minutes because i got to go to bed. Okay. Good night. i got work in the morning. Um, you can so text me tomorrow. It's good to see everybody. Yeah, yeah right. we'll talk tomorrow. Bye. I'll be on. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Okay. Can, I just, can I just quickly show you something? Yes, you can, Phyllis. Oh, I, I, took, I took the horse from where. Uh. Right, um, let me just show, this is the figurine of um, Jodie's um, doctor. That's yeah. coming out. Oh. Yeah. oh, okay. That's cool. Okay. That's kind, of, that's kind of nice. I like that. I might you get do. that. Nice. I will get that. That looks nothing like her. Right. <laughs> I mean, the hair's a little bit off. The I face mean, the is concept's cool, though. Um, I think the socks look purple, unless it's your yeah. color of your computer. It, it's it my computer. It's your computer. computer. Okay, because it's purple even, socks. Even the rest of the pants and stuff kind of look purple for me. So that might just be the coloring. We're going to have to see. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe um, we need a high-definition picture. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's you don't like that, that figure, Connor? Yeah. Like, I like the figure. Her likeness but yeah <laughs> her, her coat is lilac and yeah. her trousers are blue so that's right yeah. right okay what else about the reviews um mostly like four or five stars to be honest with you there are a few three stars but nothing below that okay so overall it looks like it's going to be a fantastic season. Yeah, um, I reckon it will be. Well, actually, no, I can't say that. The first episode, um, people like it overall. Yeah. Basically. Right? Hmm. Um, it's a good start, though. It's a, it's a good... To get reviews like that on, on the first the first one. Right. Um, and then we also have to remember that one of the companions has a a, a somewhat social disability. Yes, you said that yesterday, right? Yeah, yeah. just taxi. Is this the figure you're talking about or no? No. Yes. No? Um, hang on. No. No. Oh, that's, that's the one I've got. Over oh, there. Okay. 
And this, I'm sorry, this one looks like a man. This guy right here. That's terrible. Oh, yeah, that That's was. terrible. That's terrible. Uh, the costume. <laughs> yeah. Billy. Yes, mate. Is your figurines cut lilac? Stop it, BBC. You mean you mean the, the, the doll or you mean the figurine itself? I don't have the figurine. The doll. Uh, oh, hang on. Let me just get a hold of her. Is it is it grey or is it lilac? To me, visually, when I look at it, it looks grey. Visually. Because the colour is supposed to be lilac. Which is what? Some sort of purpley grey yeah, colour. Yeah, really, really light purple. Yeah, yeah. This, this, this looks grey to me. Yeah, definitely grey. Also, her hair is too light, though. You reckon? Yeah, far yeah. too light. Yeah. It was a little bit. Like, the, the, fact bit. That, the, the fact that they've got the... It uh, looks like a mop handle color. <laughs> yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But the fact, the, I like the fact that they put the roots, showing her roots in the, in, in the hair. It's like, wow, yeah. okay. What? Showing her roots, look. Where she needs to dye her hair a bit more. Oh, fuck. She regenerated. You can't do that. <laughs> The generation would have died. Come on, man. Really? All right. Yeah, it's kind of grayish, Con. So what yeah. else besides the reviews did we have today? Um, days? I know she was on a radio station. We've got Sagan Akinel was talking about his theme tune a bit, didn't we? His what? Oh, yeah. The theme tune. Apparently, Sagan Akinel's music is so far away from Murray Gold's that it's going to take you a while to get used to. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> I knew you'd be like that. Come but, on. But, but Joe, listen. What in the fickety fuck on, is this? Hang on, hang on Joe. This... It, will, it will have its um, kind of roots in the old 60s Doctor Who music kind so of it's, way. It's like Peter Gabriel or something? Mm, I don't know, but... And you're absolutely going to love the theme tune. Really? Yeah. yeah. Apparently so, yeah. It's Definitely. one of the best, it's one of, uh, from some of these th thoughts that I've seen, it's one of the best. Is it going to be uh, the Tarot the Trial thing? Because that one was really good. Oh, you mean Call the Time Lord one? Well, that, yeah, the one, the one that the alternate version that they didn't use. It was like a real good one. Oh. And it had, it's still it gonna be the theme, right? It's just gonna be a different, like yeah. each time. Right. Yeah, a different arrangement. Same tone, notes, and everything, just a different feel. I think it's gonna be a bit slower than what okay. we used to. A bit slower, uh, but more, in, more inclined with the William Hartnell, Patrick Carson type ones. That kind he, of. <laughs> No, like but the trial, then it would have to be 20 minutes to get that theme music out. Yeah, yeah. Like... But the Trial of a Time Lord theme is really good. And it, yeah, it, was, exactly. it was different. It's not it's not the one they used. It's by the same person who did um Seventh's uh, uh Seven Doctors theme and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. But he did an alternate version, yeah. And they used uh -huh. piano and it's really good. I mean, the, it's like it's called a terror thing. Okay, well, what terror. instruments are used to make this team, though? Um, when um, you think of, when you think about Sagan Akinola's um, musical accomplishments, most of these music has got a bit of um, it's kind of electronic. Yeah, electronic. Um, yeah. Like, yeah. Is it like erasure like, electronic? Erasure? No. Oh, so is it very like sci-fi? What was that face? Odyssey kind of. <laughs> is it kind of? Kind of. Like, uh, um, how was that? I like it. Right? It's my like favorite group. Uh, fuck out of here, Doc. Hang on. <laughs> they were like, my favorite group. All right. Okay. <laughs> they were my favorite as well. Right. Is it? Is it like Future Sounds of London or something like that? Is it's like nineteen nineties rave music. Oh, yeah. always. Oh, I want to yeah. be with you okay. and make believe. No, I'm kidding. All right, all right, there we go. We're going to carry over. Right. I can't, I can't believe, believe you like Erasure. Fucking hell, Joe. <laughs> Are you fucking crazy? Dude? Like my... Jesus. All right, we'll talk about this. Yeah. All right. What the... F all right, forget it. We'll talk. We'll just go over here. Off here. Anyway, going back to the music. I, yeah, I yeah. think it's going to be... As, as Connor said, it's going to take you by surprise, and I hope it does. And, oh. that's the, and I'm thinking that's the reason why they're holding it back over to episode two. 
Oh, they're not doing the theme music until. Okay, can I, I have a question. Also, oh. are they also keeping the. Wait, the wait, director, wait, director. Hold on. In the theme too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> speaking of something important. <laughs> Okay, kitty cat. All right. Is it like I was? <laughs> is it like when they changed the theme to Pink Panther, and it was the guy like, "Don't worry, be happy," but he had that. Oh. Do, 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 do. It was like different, like you know, what's his name? Uh, uh oh, oh, oh Miss Fallen. Oh my Ms. God, what's his name? His last name is Gates. No, 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 it's me falling. Um, was it Bobby? It was like, that was a what are you doing with the Pink Panther? I was like, no. So, was it drastic like that? I don't know. I don't think it's that far. I'm thinking, yeah. And also, will they still have the vortex, the time vortex? You know what? I think we're going to, no, I think we're going to get, you know, you know, that kind of like, um, that the I did be a damn TARDIS, some bitches, because I'm. And it. yeah, the TARDIS has to be in it too, somehow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Bobby McFerrin. That's who Thank you. Bobby McFerrin, yeah. That's the one. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so those were like that. Okay. Uh, so. I'm thinking the TARDIS. I'm sorry for hissing at you, Gloria. <laughs> no, it was quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> the, the title sequence will probably be like we got when, the, when you see the TARDIS going through the name. Kind of thing. Uh -huh. Oh, really, so yeah. you won't you won't see the face anymore, baby. I, I have a question. You might do. What's the second name the logo cool. that we see besides Jody? Probably gonna be yeah. um oh boy. Uh, what's his name? Oh um, sorry, Bradley hey. Walsh, isn't it? Bradley. Bradley Walsh. Yeah. It's gonna be Bradley Walsh right away. Reckon, yeah. So. And then I it's reckon. gonna be Yasmin and then it's gonna be yeah. okay. All because right. he has top billing because he's more right. Yeah, yeah. We would think so. Brad Bradley's the focus of episode one. Yeah. Each, okay. Each, com each companion has their own episode. So hang on, did I not like read? Walking Dead. Did oh, yeah. I not read? That's hang on, did I not read? I was toasting episode because of that's how we get to is learn it, more about the great bike ride in history. Yeah, and all that. It's toasting's episode. All oh, right, so yeah, it's toasting's episode. Okay. So and then another one, then. Mandip will have one that affects her badly, and then uh, badly. badly. Yeah, pa apparently, there's each companion has an episode that really affects them. Do they lose like a body part? Yeah. No, no, no like it's a, a hand or something. Oh, okay. they're doing they're doing character studies. Well, basically. the guy in, the, in class lost a leg. <laughs> they, I know what they're doing. They're doing character studies on each companion. So it's like Walking Dead. Like yeah, so they'll focus on like you know yeah. Morgan one episode or like whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's just to give you a bit more background to them and a bit more meat to their to their character. No, they're no, it's good. Okay. So by well, episode five, we'll be done with everybody. Exactly. Okay. And oh, who's wow. the witch episode? The Hang doctor. On. It probably is the doctor. Yeah, apparently that's the one that's going to affect the doctor the most. Oh, really? We're going to call her a witch. And we're also we're also. <laughs> We're also being told. We're also being told that episode six is a game changer. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, Philip. Stop throwing out words like game changer. What a game changer. Hang on, Connor. You, you explain it. She, did, she didn't. She didn't say game changer, but she said apparently that episode six is important. Okay. Is, is it important to humanity or is it important to the writer who wrote the script? <laughs> <Good point. laughs> I guess I guess it's important to the series' story. Yeah. But Do the doctor find out that she's human? Is that the game? Nah. All <laughs> men will cease to exist in fifty years because of some weird virus number. <laughs> I think I think she meets a feminist personally. Oh, <laughs> 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 is yeah. that what it is? Rosa Parks? Rosa. Yeah. Is, is that the, Rosa That's Rosa the game changer? Oh. Unless it's, it's, it's when we finally ha get the TARDIS back. Is that's that not a game changer. Thing? That's, 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 not a, that's, a, that's not part a, of the game. I, know, I, know, <laughs> I, I, I retract using the word game changer. But Can't that's, we, no. that's probably when the TARDIS pops up again. Then. We've got to wait five it, I'm trying to think of something that really would 
change this whole show. And they done... I don't see anything Well, else what changed the show is that she can't regenerate anymore because she just went crazy with no. the friggin... <laughs> Well, then she can blame and kills the for that one because well, they're the same person. <laughs> she can, she can, unless they, unless well, no, they don't did the. I can't regenerate no more. Let me see, can I get some more regeneration? Guys, just want to let you know, I'm a time lord, but I can't travel through time. Oh, that's yeah. be it. But then I'm allergic. I was modern and dead to travel through time. I was, I was thinking that thing about episode six is. You know what we saw in the trailer, which is kissing someone goodbye or doing that. Yeah. Then goodbye, something, Tardis. Something oh, from that Goodbye, Tardis. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Goodbye, goodbye, companion. That'd be important. Thanks, Tardis. Thanks. But I'd be or, or or they can play Hello Darkness, my old friend. Hello Darkness, my old friend. Why she? Because I'm I'm surprised they showed that clip very early on in the trailer. So it's got to be a part of. But well, was it a six. sadness kiss or was like, bye Who bye, knows? you some bitch? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> You're fucking done, damn Ross. I was like, well, no, no. I really want, I really want Jodie Ritter's uh, thirteen to be a boss doctor. I don't want her to be. I mean, we. Yeah, don't I'm use sorry. game changer words, man. We get, it's got to really be. No, no, I, mean, I'm, I'm, I apologize yeah. for that. I was just was, like the doctor going blind. Where that was kind of a game changer, but then it got bad. But it but was like, you know, that was kind of like that. But here's, that's the thing that pissed me off about the episode, that they didn't even stick with it long enough for it to make an impact. Like, oh, he's done. You know, that that would have been a that would have been a game changer. You actually have the Doctor disabled for a couple of episodes. But no, they wrote it back like nothing happens in that stupid monk trilogy. Yeah. See, <laughs> how you really. <laughs> God, Jesus. No, it's some stupid writing. I, I know. I mean, it's just stupid writing. Like the moon is an egg. Come on. <laughs> oh, cool. you know what? You, you know what? BBC America is showing all the Capaldi series right now. <laughs> yeah. They, yeah. It up to, um, uh, they should be on Dr. Mysterio right now. He should say I, BBC F. I've been sure. watching it off and on. Yeah. Ever since they were playing the. The and then they they had the audacity to do sleep no more, and I I just skipped it. I'm like, I'm yeah, I, I went to sleep when that was. Yeah, sleep, <laughs> sleep no more. Contradiction. That like I'll miss that episode. Then, like I miss like so, I'll make sure I miss Love and Monsters. Not to not to get, not to get off topic. Yeah. Well, kind of, but I did notice something in Sleep No More. There's a scene where you switch to um, Clara's POV. Yeah. And she says something to him, and all of a sudden, cause I thought he was switched to another person. But all of a sudden, you see him leaning towards her, like real closely, like he just starts going in on her. I'm like, and then you see her turn her face. I'm like, what the hell was this about? He just that, means, that means he he was aware that she's been her eyes she's her uh, her eyesight was compromised by that thing, whatever was whatever was. Uh. Um, Oh, that was it. Okay. That, yeah, yeah. So I was like, what the hell was I watching? I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, yeah. He was aware of it. He was aware it's really of it. weird to be first person with the doctor, though. It's just really uncomfortable. Yeah, that was fun. That was really fun, but it was uncomfortable. That aspect right. of it, yeah. Right. Also, Connor, you said earlier today that at the episode is not 65 minutes, but an hour. Oh, yeah. We lost so, five minutes. It's. No, um, he said we gained. We gained. Well, like, it's supposed to be six five minutes. It, yeah, six so five minutes will be used to like catch up and probably like for credits and stuff. And oh shit! And, yeah, that's okay. not adding minutes to it. No, that's 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 gonna that's be some bullshit. There, that's gonna be an hour and thirty or something here. Come on, man. I, actually, that does make sense now that you said that. It's for the um, catch up bit. That, that's the five minutes extra in the TARDIS that he gets to bond with the companions? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Just back up one minute. You said a catch-up bit? Are they actually going to do something like they... They're going to like previously on Doctor oh, Who. Do, 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 Like Walking Dead. Who the hell cares? Like Walking Dead. They're going to do like Walking Dead. No. No, because we don't have time either. for that. It's but I, why would they do that if the episodes are standalone, standalone. and they can show in different order? Yeah, but they want to do it. Previously on Doctor Who. Yeah, but what they're doing is 
if you're going to bring, if you're going to bring on new if you're going to bring on on board newbie, they're going to have to understand what happened prior to her being. Oh. A woman. Yeah. Are, are we spelling it out for them all of a sudden? Yes, because we are dumb and we they don't really understand. Know. Just go back and watch the last comprehension. Oh, come on. Really, Philip? They're going to start doing that shit now? Oh, Who knows? It might oh, be my case. God. We don't Me? Know. Somebody in the BBC were like, well, if we explain it, maybe <laughs> the ratings <laughs> will drop. That's nothing. you probably going to have to create a new one because we blow one minute yeah. right now. All right, we're gonna get out of here. Okay, we'll be back in a few. Yeah. Take care, bye for now.